Hello friends, welcome to tutorial number 6. So today we are going to be talking about the city button custom border. So the custom border allows us to create a complex button types that are useful in many scenarios. For example, we can create a tab control button and so forth when we take advantage of the custom borders. So what are the custom borders? Well, let's see by example. So I have dragged and dropped onto the form a silicon button. And when we head to the properties tab, we can see that we have the custom border property. So we're going to set the few color at the moment to white. We're also going to change the four color of the button control to black. And we're now going to change the border color, custom border color to black. And we're going to apply the border right round the control. There it is. This is a button with a custom border. Let's set the animation to true. And we're going to leave the press color to black. And we're going to run our project to see what we have right there. Let's give it a moment to build and run. There it is. This is a beautiful button that we have created right there. Yes. So, th this is the custom border, the general custom border that we can um, we can apply and, and achieve. If we change the border radius, as you see right there, to 2, the custom border will also be affected and the recent changes will be highlighted by applying the border as we can see. So we've created a very unique button which is otherwise not possible had we not had the custom border properties. So let's try something interesting with this custom border. We're going to change to revert back the border radius to zero and we're going to remove all the borders except the bottom border which we are going to set to 2 then we run our project you see that it is still a button control but very interesting is that it only has a bottom border and when we click on the button it will still behave as a button control when we hover onto the button, you can see the gray color coming up. This is because we have set the animation to true. If we don't want this gray color to come up, we we'll just go to the hover state and then we set the fill color to white. Then we save our project and we run to reflect the recent changes. When we hover, nothing happens, but when we click, Yes, the button is active. So we're going to create multiple buttons and we'll see what we can make with this custom border style. So these are multiple buttons that we've created right there. Button 1, button 2, button 3. And we're going to change the custom border to the custom border color we're going to leave the custom border to two but we're going to change the custom border color to white and on hover we go to the hover state we want the custom border to change to black and we're going to run our project to see the changes that we've made right there there it is it is still a button so when we click this button is not selected because it is still a default button but we can use this implementation now to create tab buttons let's see how we can achieve this so we are going to change the button mode to radio button so we have changed the button mode to radio button let's try to size the buttons yes and we're going to change the button mode to radio button in fact we have already done so and when the button is hovered 
we don't want to apply black we want to apply a, a gray color but when the button is checked or selected that's when we want to apply a black color to the custom border so let's try to change again the font style to 12 and we change the full color to gray when we hover the button we want to change the full color to a darker gray but when the button is checked then we want the full color to be full black so let's save our changes and run the project they are our button controls so let's hover and see what happens there it is let's select the button there it is there it is so we can now create a tab uh, control using these buttons but as you can see again we have this gray color that is coming up on the background how can we remove this well since this button type or these buttons are of type radio button the checked property is going to be applied so the fill color on change should be white or the fill color should match the current uh, fill color the fill color on checked state should match the current fill color you're going to see what happens when you run maybe this is going to make some sense and we're going to explain a bit further what is happening so when we hover we can see the effects and when we click we can see the changes so what is happening here well we have set the fill color of the button to white so we can change it to width and we can see it has changed so we can set this to white and when the button is hovered as you can see here we are going to set the fill color to white because we don't want to see that gray color but when the button is selected it's going to be applied the gray color will be applied because the animated property is set to true if we don't want to see that gray color we are going to set the fill color to white hence the gray color will never be shown on animation white is going to be taken as the base color hence the control will animate from white to white we will not see any background color changes because it is animating in a single color let's run our project and uh, see the changes there you see when we hover the animation is still happening because you can see the border color the custom border color there are some animations there the animation is still happening but the back color is still white because we have set the hover state to white we have also set the checked state to white so the button is animating from a white background to a white background so the gray color will not be visible but when we click we can see the gray color let's try to change the press color to white and see what happens let's run our project let's give it a moment to save build and run there it is let's click and see what happens you can see the white is applied but it is quite faint which means we cannot clearly see it so if you want if you don't want any animations on uh, button click you can just disable the animations altogether but there is um, there's something that will happen to the border color when the animation is disabled you see that on hover state the custom border color will immediately show right there there are no animations because we have disabled the animation property so it is necessary to 
switch on the animations if you want the animations and then we change the press color to match with, with the fill color and the fill color should also match with the with the hover color and the hover color should also match with the checked color so animation will happen from one color to the same color from white to white hence we can achieve this beautiful uh, switch that we find there switching from one button control to another using the radio button this is still a group of buttons but the button mode for these groups has been changed to radio button so only one button is selected at a time if we change to toggle button we will be able to select multiple buttons at the same time let's see let's click the first button the second button and the third button so this is a toggle button because this group of buttons have been set to toggle so if you are creating a tape control be sure to check the radio button button mode because it only allows one button to be selected at a time which will um, achieve the tape control so how do we switch if we have a group of panels from one panel to another on button click we're not going to cover this topic in this video so i encourage you please to look at this video that we have made on our website cityconfirmwork.com forward slash projects you can preview this video and follow along we have this bitcoin wallet concept design where we have demonstrated how we can switch from one button to another button so you can preview the video and download the project to see the source code you can also look at this video the searchable menu we have also implemented how to switch from one uh, control user control to the next user control you can also look at this uh, video uh, the mac affair design concept and also the modern dashboard ui design concept we have uh, made the implementation available in these videos what's so interesting about this uh, modern dashboard ui design video tutorial is that it demonstrates the implementation on both side menu and top tab control so you can see how to switch the tab controls when you are using a side menu or a top tab control so go ahead and preview a youtube tutorial or download and follow along so that we can see how we have designed this so anyways these are some of the things we can do with the controls that we have here especially the button mode which detects the type of control that you are going to make and how it is going to behave so this custom border disables the default border that we have right here and it applies its own custom border so let's try to see this on harvested let's try to change the border color to green and let's go back to the custom border since we have only a bottom border let's try to add a top border and see what happens let's save and let's run our project let's give it a moment to build and run there it is so when we hover you can see those cool animations there and the button is selected so this is what we can achieve when we use a custom border you can customize where you want the border to appear how you want it to appear how you want the border to be shown when the cursor hovers over the or rests over the control and so forth so thank you guys for joining me in this video and i look forward to seeing you again in the next tutorial where we're going to cover again some of the properties that we have not covered in this video once again my name is Russell Ochidakwa I'm a software developer working with the Citicon framework development team and thank you for joining me in this tutorial happy coding cheers